Ito na, si Realme C35 ang dami nag-request sa akin. Beans, bakit hindi mo pa nare-review? Si Realme C35, the iPhone lookalike phone ni Realme. Yes, this is it. The most affordable iPhone lookalike phone that you can buy in the market today. Sobrang ganda niya guys. Kung nag-arap niya sa iPhone, wala na iba kundi si Realme C35. Ay nako, yung curves pa lang, yung design, masayaw na lang. Son of all. Could this be the best smartphone for the money under 10K? Parang hindi naman siguro ko ya, Vince. Pangit naman yan eh. Anong sinabi mo? We, di nga. Oh my god, sino kayo? Ay, oo nga pala guys, andito pala si JTN TV sa aking studio. They visited all the way from Mindanao, no? Taga Pwede Nalga. Para lang i-bash to. Grabe ka. Kapal na mukha mo! Well, actually, nagkala sila ng review na. Let me see 35. And they were not happy with it. Bakit ba? Ano meron dito? Ano lang eh, parang hanggang design lang yan eh. Unisoc processor sa halagang 8,000 pesos? Di worth it. Natatakot ako dito. Baka bugbugin ako ni Realme. Nako, hindi naman kami basta-basta nag-negative na lang sa isang phone eh. Kaya naman kaya Vince, buksan mo na lang para makita mo sa sarili mo. Ito guys ah, I have, I need to be frank. This is going to be one of the most risky videos I have ever done in my channel. Hindi basta-basta pwede mo sabi ng pangit about the product kasi baka ba. Pero Vince, kailangan natin ipaglaban para malaman ng mga tao kung ano talaga ang maganda. Ready na pa kayo? Oo. Kung ready na kayo, ito lang ah. We need to... Ay! 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 Oh! Masobra ata! Ikaw din? Ano mo ready? Yan, so ready na ako. Ready na kayo. We're getting ready. Kaya kami magiging ready, guys. Oo. And without further ado, it's a Vince! I am Christine! And I am JP! And you're watching... Unbox Diaries! Woohoo! Oh, by the way, If you want to check out the full specs of this phone, punta lang sa unboxdiaries.com. We've got it all for you. Okay, so, ito na siya. Realme C35, the most controversial phone today. Ang color natin ito is glowing black. Meron pa siya bang color? Meron siyang glowing green. At wala na. Yun lang. Ah, glowing green lang pati ito. Okay. 464 ang nasa atin yun. Meron pa siya bang, meron pa iba? 6128. Ah, may 6128 pa. Ayan na. Hey, welcome to the Realme family. Ang kasama dito ay Let's embrace a new journey with SIM ejector pin. Si iPhone walang SIM ejector pin. Tanga. Ano ba? Ano ba pala? Ano ba? Merong SIM ejector pin si iPhone. Marami bang papel si iPhone? Marami. Marami. Pero pang sticker. Grabe kayo kay Realme. <laughs> Quick start guide. Important information guide. Walang jelly case yan. Walang jelly case. Walang jelly case. Yeah. Oh oh. Kaya First na. time. Oh, oh my god. Parang si iPhone lang. Walang kasama ng jelly case. Oo, ginagaya niya na sa iPhone. Grabe ka. Look at that glow at the back. Pero mayan yan. Pero ito ah, meron bang USB Type-C si Apple? Well, sa iba. Pero kasi si iPhone ay lightning connector. Ito, USB Type-C na. Wow. I think you guys are wrong. You're making Realme look bad. Wait, what is this? This is the major difference between an iPhone and the Realme C35. Meron na siyang kasamang charger sa loob ng box. Told you. Ah, ilan ba to? Ilan ba to? 33 watts? Oo. Oh my God, that's a lot of watts. Wala na. At ayun na yung laman. Medyo madumi na. Oo. Kunin mo nga yung panilis natin. Teka lang. Meanwhile. Eto na ako yung Vince. Sorry. Sonrocks. Baka naman, Sonrocks. Goodness. Baka naman, Sonrocks. Ay! Ay! Oh my God. Pata mo yung Zonrox. Talaga may pagkatanga ito. Zonrox nga yan. Ang gawa ko. Ang gawa ko. Well, actually matibay yung phone up. So parang testing na rin to. Kung matibay ba talaga siya. The phone is very matibay. Kasi kahit na nalagyan siya ng Zonrox, ganun pa rin yung kanyang shine sa likod. Hindi na wala yung kanyang shine. Tignan natin kung kamukha talaga ni iPhone. Ito kasi si iPhone 13 Pro Max ko. Ayan. Yeah, nah. So, hindi ito sponsored. Kasi pinapakita ko ibang phone. Well, actually, yes, kahawig nga. Alam mo talaga na si iPhone, kasi nga, 1, 2, 3, yung kanilang placement, ganyan po talaga si iPhone. Although, kuwang-kuwa naman niya yung kanyang shape, yung flat back, flat sides, curved edges, ganyan po ang shape ng isang iPhone. Kaya lang, syempre, kapag nilalayo mo, it really does look like the iPhone 13. This is such a wonderful phone. Wonderful design from Realme. But again, for the price, kasi, how much is this? 8,499 lang, sir. 
ayun lang. So, 8,000 pesos. 464 lang yan. Tapos, nakita ko yung specs. Uh, mamaya tayo sa specs, no? Kasi nga, important yan na malaman nyo. Na, I think, you're paying the extra talaga for the design. Although, design is important naman for most people. Kasi nga, syempre, you don't want your phone to look like crap. Gusto mo talaga, feeling social ka. And, I think, no, to be able to get this kind of phone na sobrang thin, sobrang pang iPhone yung build niya. Actually, pag hawak mo pa lang, you the know. moment na mawakan mo siya, iPhone yung feels. Although, plastic na yung kanyang body and back, eto, stainless steel and ceramic back, it feels close, no? Sobrang close ng feel. Hindi ko ma-differentiate na this is an iPhone and this is not an iPhone. I think, doon talaga, pumatong yung extra. Kasi in terms of specs, naku, talong-talo to guys. I think this is enough for me. Kung ang habol ko talaga is magmukhang iPhone na talaga ang phone ko. Pero kung bilis, reliability, Hindi talaga worth it. And long term, actually, um, this is it. Uh, we're going deep inside. Ayaw kong muna ipakita mga mukha nyo. Baka this is going to be very difficult. Uh, dito mo tayo sa halikot. Bye guys. Uh, Bye guys. Bye -bye. Medyo intense na kasi itong part na to. Kaya nag-iingat ako. Now, the thing about this phone no, is that it screams pagkasosyal. Um, kapag meron kang ganito is parang sobrang sosyal ka, iisipin ng friends mo and family na meron kang iPhone talaga. Uy, uh, meron pala iPhone dyan. Hindi, ano lang to, yung kay Realme lang. Pwede nga. Ay, oo. Oh, kay Realme nga. Oo. Actually, sa lahat ng mukhang iPhone na cellphone, ito yung pinakakamukha talaga. As in, sobrang gayang-gaya. Wala lang yung Apple logo. Oh. Realme logo yung nakalagay, syempre. Bawal yun eh. Although, may konting need pag win sa ano, camera part. Medyo maliit lang. Alam naman natin kung ano talaga yung tura ng isang iPhone camera. Pero yes, this can actually fool anyone. Mayroon kasi magka-iPhone. Ah, sobrang mahal ang iPhone. As in as 50,000. Actually, yung pinakamurang iPhone na bago na pwede nyo bilhin is nasa 26,000, 28,000 pesos na. So, medyo hefty talaga. And it doesn't even look like an iPhone na latest pa, ba? Yung iPhone SE. Oo, oh, mm. iisa lang yung camera niya. Yung pinaka, ano talaga yan, is yung iPhone 13, 13 mini, which is nasa 40,000, 50,000 pesos na. And not a lot of people can actually afford that. But this one, for only 8,000 pesos, you have an iPhone look. Ang iba, wala pa kailan sa specs. Mm -hmm. Ang gusto lang talaga nila is mukhang social ang phone nila. Oh. Period. Wala akong pakailan sa processor. Wala akong pakailan sa battery. Wala akong pakailan kung gano'ng kapangat yung kanyang camera. Ang importante, meron lang akong kamukha niya. Parang kamukha lang ng ex mo, no? So, wala kayong pakailan. Pakat ugali niya, basta kamukha niya lang. Patay kamukha niya siyang. Siya kamukha niya siyang. Hindi, ah, uh, <laughs> yung, uh, ano, Lalito Hindi, pag, pag nanonood ako ng, ano, ah, Bold Star. <laughs> Dapat kamukha ni Shang. <laughs> yun para sa akin. Hindi, hindi ako nanonood na hindi kamukha ni Shang. So, yun na yung mag-sipin doon. Sana, oh. The reality is, sa likod na siya mukhang iPhone. Pero sa harap, mukha siyang Android talaga. <laughs> Ayan. It, it looks like an Android phone, dew drop notch. Guys, in 2022, Hindi na po tayo dew drop notch. Hindi oh. na. Punch hole na dapat, dapat yan. So it's a... Uh, you're actually just paying for the back yun. So, oh. yung 8,000 na yun, ito na likod yun. Pero sa harap, plus 8K yan. <laughs> That's funny! Kung gusto nyo maging uh, mukhang iPhone yan, magkaroon na notch na ganun. Ayun, so... But joking aside, no? Ito yung kanyang design. It is a glossy gradient back design. No? Medyo fingerprint magnet. Sa sides, no? Ang nipis niya, sobra. Meron tayong headphone jack dito. Microphone sa ilalim. USB Type-C port, speaker, sa taas wala, sa right side naman yung kanyang power button and yung kanyang fingerprint scanner din, I think. Fingerprint ba yan? Well, tama, meron siyang vibration pag ginawakan mo. Mm -hmm. And sa left side is yung kanyang, uy, usually kasi ah, katabi ng power button to, volume rockers, and yung kanyang SIM tray. Ito ah, ito yung wala sa iPhone. Fuck! <laughs> Micro SD card slot plus dual nano SIM card slot for more SIM. <laughs> Kalo, kalo nyo, expandability ha. Tapos yung display, 6.6 inch, Full HD+, plus tinitipin na. IPS LCD, wala siyang high refresh rate, ayun lang. Sigurong advantage nito, for me ha, is yung kanyang battery life. Kasi nga, wala siyang high refresh rate, plus 5,000 mAh of battery pa. Oh, by the way, nagkamali tayo dun sa kanyang charging, 18 watts lang pala yung kanyang charging. At ayun na nga, uh, naka drop notch lang yung kanyang display, so it's not a convincing iPhone clone. Yung experience nito is entry level, no? It's very entry level. You get what you pay for. So, hindi ka wag ka mag-expect na uh, for 8,000 pesos meron ka iPhone 13. Don't ma-disappoint ka. What you'll get here is a decent speed, 
Well, hindi pa nga decent eh. Kasi tinan mo yung kanyang Antuto Benchmark. 223,900 points lang for 8,000 pesos. Well, actually, in 2022, kung, kung 2022, no? Pwede ba to? Ang baba na yan. Uh, for 8K, pwede na to. Pero kung 2022 na, this year, this is mabagal. Kasi you know why? Ano, ano ba yung kanyang processor? Unisoc lang po Unisoc, yun. guys. Unisoc. Hindi, hindi man lang siya MediaTek eh. It's actually a different unknown processor na hindi natin alam. Baka optimized to for games. So, Tingnan hindi natin. pwede maging very skeptical dito. Pero as I do my stuff, no? Opening apps. Sakto na yung speed niya. Just don't expect too much smoothness, no? And uh, in the long run, baka the optimization for Unisoc processors are not that good. Pero yun, nag-try kami sa Mobile Legends and uh, ito po yung itsura niya. Meron po siyang high graphics and high frame rates. Kaya lang, napansin namin medyo may frame drops. May pagka frame drops na konti. Feeling ko kasi parang uh, medyo mataas na yung requirements ng Mobile Legends, no? Mami-feel mo talaga yung kanyang frame drop kapag ka nagka-clash na, maraming nangyari sa screen. Uh, Doon siya fall apart. Pero yes, I think you can squeeze in a lot more hours here compared to the usual smartphone kasi nga wala siya high refresh rate at malaki yung kanyang battery. Sa Call of Duty naman, medium graphics, high frame rates which is totally okay for this kind of phone. Ang kanyang processor ay sapat lang para dun sa kanyang performance na pre-provide sa'yo ng setting. So it is totally playable. Um, usually kasi sa Call of Duty walang sanong lag dito, walang frame drops. Kaya I am still confident no, na mag-enjoy ka dito kapag naglalaro kayo ng Call of Duty. Sa bold naman ay Anong sinabi mo? Uh, sa Genshin Impact naman, <laughs> Ito po yung kanyang uh, itsura, no? Uh, of course, no? Uh, with this kind of processor, I doubt na it will play very smoothly in Genshin Impact, even with the lowest settings. Ayan, as you can see, medyo frame drop. So, medyo malag na siya, medyo ma-frame drops kapag marami nangyayari. Pero kapag naglalakad ka, okay naman. Adventuring is pretty okay. Pero kasi, um, don't expect too much if you're gonna play Genshin Impact on this phone. Sa camera naman, well... Dito lang nice surprise ha. Oh by the way, yung kanyang camera pala is 50 megapixel triple camera setup. Meron pa siyang 2MP macro lens and 0.3MP na depth sensor. Ayun, parang freebie lang pala yun, no? Freebie lang yun. 0.3MP. Yes. <laughs> Ito may mga pictures na nakuha ko sa kanya and uh, there are things na kailan nyo malaman dito. Um, for portrait shots, no? Yung mga may pagka blurred background, maganda siya. As in, I was stunned by the image quality here. Good, decent detail. Actually, for me, for the price, okay naman na siya. Over the years, nag-improve talaga si Realme in terms of uh, image quality. And, kitang-kita naman eh. Pero kasi, alam mo na kung ano, compared sa isang iPhone, baka, well, ito ha, compared to sa iPhone. Here we go. As you can see, ang layo ng difference ng isang iPhone 13 Pro Max sa Realme C35. Pero syempre, uh, expected na yan, no? You're paying, you get what you pay for. Ayun. Mas convincing syempre yung background blur, yung sharpness, yung color ni iPhone. At saka yung contrast ang layo guys, medyo dull. For me, medyo dull ng konti yung kanyang contrast dito. Cool. Nakakulangan ako sa pagka-green, sa, sa skin, parang kulang din, and sa low light nako. Ito, ito guys, this is the major difference. Ang layo masyado, madilim at uh, manoisy to Realme C35. So don't expect na if you're going to buy this, and expecting iPhone-like performance then well, you better think twice kasi baka madismaya ka talaga. But yes, kung pumasok ka dito, pinili mo siya as a entry level, expecting it to be an entry level, you're going to be in for a treat kasi okay talaga siya. Let's just set the expectations na lang in the first place. That is what's important. Pero siguro for me, no, ang pinaka-okay talaga for iPhone is yung kanyang selfie. Dito talaga. 12 megapixel si iPhone. 8 megapixel naman si Realme C35. And yung contrast talaga, yung palang uh, software processing, ang layo na masyado. Um, you'll get a DSLR look sa iPhone 13 Pro Max. And dito naman sa Realme C35, parang R na lang makuha mo. <laughs> Dun sa DSLR. But yes, uh, that's that's pretty much it. What do you guys think? Gosh, uh, for how much? 8,499. Tapos 464 lang yan. 8,499 pesos. 464. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, parang, parang nalugyo ko dun ah. Mm -hmm. Oo. Oh. Design lang talaga ang meron dyan, quiz. Well, eto ah. Honestly, uh, basing on my expertise right now, eto yung masabi ko dyan. Now, I'm a believer na kapag nagpakita ka ng isang something na feature at yun yung tumatak sa kanya, I think it's well worth it. What you're actually paying here is for the appearance of an iPhone. Oh. And you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it here. If you're coming in na alam mong hindi siya ganun kabilis, ganyan, pero iPhone naman yung looks. Pero, if you're, you know, you're looking for a good performing phone, uh, pang gaming, uh, iPhone level yung kanyang camera, this is not it. 
on the contrary. Ah, uh, ilan naman para sa akin. Mm-mm. But uh, for you guys, baka, but for me, it could be a good value for most people. Na, you know, just looking for Sorry. a quality looking design. An iPhone looking gold digger smartphone. <laughs> Ayun. So kung gold digger ka, kailangan mo. Kabe. <laughs> baka wala nang bumili dyan quiz kasi oh. sa, ay, ayaw kong bumili. Baka pagkamula na akong oh, gold digger. Oh. <laughs> Hindi, hindi. Mas magiging social ka. Oh, diba, pupunta ka sa isang party ng mga, ano, ng mga mayayama, no? I got an iPhone. Tapos, uh, kailangan social ka din. Kailangan social ka din. I got an iPhone, bitch. Ay, sorry. <laughs> Actually, want ko rin ito ipamigay sa inyo. Meron na siyang amoy. Pero, it's still free. So, hindi na magkakama. Don't complain. Kung gusto manalan nito, just read the descriptions below. Mechanics. Andiyan lang yan. And, of course, follow na kayo sa nalang channel, Jatin TV. Yep. Yes! So yun, follow them guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, so that you don't miss their content, and also my content about si Bins. Pero huwag nyo kalimutan na kanilang video ng Realme C35 video. Ito po. Click on that right now. About si Bins! Ako si Christine. And ako si JP. And you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo!